spirits with you today um, i'm outside in the garden painting oh my god it's so boring uh drinking modello especial um 1925 it says below 4.5 percent log um i'll have a look see if it says out on the bottle um mexico it's a mexican lager then okay yeah, products of Mexico. I didn't know that. So, you know, doing beer reviews, it's as much about learning about beers as it is anything else. So, 4.5% Mexican lager. And unlike Corona, which, you know, because of COVID, obviously, has took a battering uh, their brand name. I dare say in years to come, it'll rally. You know, the world changes pretty much like it is at the moment. But, um, yeah, it will. It will get better, that's for sure. Oh, my God. Thank you, guys. It's been washed as well. It's only a small swift of a drink. Because I'm working outside in the garden uh, painting, so I don't want anything too um, strong. So I've got golden pour on this. Plenty of carbonation going off. A little white head on the top. Boozy aroma on this. Uh, it's a you know it's a typical lager malt brown, but it's got a, a, a strength in the aroma. Four and a half percent in that sweet zone, I suppose, of lagers. Into you know it's not a four percent boring lager, but uh, it's not you know in the premium lagers area. So cheers all. Nice bite, um, nice sweet, slight sweetness to it. And as all lager, it's crisp and refreshing. If it's not crisp and refreshing and it's a lager, then yeah. Oh, that's nice. I could just imagine being in Mexico. Not really a country I'm not interested in going. It is what it is, isn't it? You know, we've all got countries we want to go. And obviously we've had two years of COVID. So a lot of people can't even be bothered to go abroad these days. And especially with uh, the world at the moment. Uh, it, um, it's, it's dicey in the slightest. But, uh, but in any case, yeah, looks a nice pour. Tastes decent. Really, all we need to know about this. So yeah, I'm on the front garden. Wife's out with my daughter. Her kids are in there, eating food, chilling, and I'm out in the garden painting, painting bloody fence panels and fences. And we're going from cedar to this like this really modern grey, and it looks brilliant. But one, it's going to take two coats and it's £20 a tin. So, ouch. But I'm going to use some, um, I'm going to cheat and use a bit of uh, grey emulsion to cover over. We've got masonry paint on the outside. So I'm going to use the grey emulsion just as like an undercoat. Just to tone the colour back in. So when I do put a coat on, I only really need to put one uh, good thick coat on. That's the open aspirations. Will it turn out? Who knows? But it gives me something to do. It keeps your brain ticking. Um, everyone else is fine. It's better than sitting down doing no. And uh, it's funny, you know, I, I hardly ever sit down and chill. I've been out this morning, got a lovely beer haul, loads of uh, new beers. Uh, I'll share that later in a beer haul video. Thank you, everyone, for getting me past 2,500 um, subscribers. And if you're new to this or if you're watching in the future, you know, every sub, every every subscribe helps. You know, it's nice when you see your channel going up a little bit. I mean, the likes of Jim, Rampant Lion, some body with millions of subscribers knocked him, and he went up six thousand in a few days, and it's like, what? Jesus Christ! 
But he's a good lad anyway, he's a good reviewer. So it's fully deserved. So yeah, enjoying this. Don't want a session out too early in the day. I've got too much work to do, I can't. I need to, you know how it is with breaking the back. I need to not only break the back, slaughter the flipping back. But break the back eye, hopefully Bill. Hopefully. You never know, do you? You try these things, but you never really know. Um, keep him warm. The sun's out at the moment. It just makes you feel happy. The only thing I haven't got is music outside. So I need to try and sort some music out. So another bitey taste. I'd love to drink this on a beach somewhere, especially at the moment in the warm. But um, I'll take it in the beer shed. Sounds quite long, that does in some ways, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not going down that road. But um, crisp, enjoyable, so refreshing. A very nice lager. Tastes decent, that does. As with all lagers, you don't get a lot from them, you know. The main thing, if it was a craft lager with flavourings, yeah, yeah, yeah. But all I can say is I thoroughly enjoyed it. Certainly felt the ABV, the 4.5, did shine through on this. And uh, it's certainly at the spot. Now I'm ready to crack on and get a load of paintings on. <laughs> Cheers, all. I did say 4.3, didn't I? Yeah. Did I? No? Yeah. I just did. Cheers. And yeah, we'll drink it again. But there you go. Cheers, all.